do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now Holson and Proud of Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your CFW PS3 Rebug 4.76.1 and play it online on the CEX system. Now, one note I want to tell you guys is there's always a risk when you take a modded console online. I will show you the tools, how you can safely protect yourself, but nothing is 100% guaranteed. So I am not held responsible if something were to happen to your system in the future if you are banned. It is a risk that you are taking just so that you are well aware. So let's do this. So first thing you want to do is, is make sure that your system is online, so network settings, and make sure that your internet connection is enabled. And just to show you my system settings real quick here, I am indeed running 4.76 and this is the CFW rebug. Okay, so you go to the more info section, there are two files that I want you to download, put it on a FAT32 thumb drive and put it in the rightmost USB port on your PS3. And we're going to install two programs today. You go to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, and go to Standard. And the two programs we're going to install is PS Ninja and also the latest version of PSN Patch. So let's install both of those programs. So I'm going to just overwrite my existing programs just to show you guys how this works. So let's go back, install, standard, and let's install PSN Patch. You go to the More Info section, I have a link to the latest versions of both of these programs. So in the future, as there's newer versions, you can definitely download those. Okay, great. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and load a game ahead of time. You can use Multiman, or in my case, I use Webman. So using Webman Games, I go here, PS3, select any of my games here, and I already have one preloaded from before, which is Ultra Street Fighter 4. But we're not going to play the game just yet. Next thing you want to do is, so mount your game first. Once you have done that, go back here and let's go to, uh, let's go to PS Ninja first. So press X. Once the PS Ninja program has loaded, what we're going to do is we're going to run the first three entries at the top. And as an optional, we can clear the web browser history. So I'm going to press X and wipe history. Go down to replace history, press X. Make history read only, press X. And then this is optional. Some people do it, some do not. I say, hey, why not? Just be on the safe side, press X, clear web history, and you're good. Now go down and go to exit and press X. Okay, so we've done that portion of it so far. The next program we're going to run is go back and run PSN patch. So let's do that. When you run the PSN patch after we're completed with that, it's going to disable your CFW, which means you cannot run any homebrew programs afterwards which is probably a good thing. And then we're going to go ahead and go online and show you how that works. So at this particular screen, I've blocked out certain items, but the most important part is just press and hold triangle, which is going to disable your CFU, CFW excuse me, and exit the program. So let's press triangle. We hear the beep from the PS3. We're good to go. It's going to do a, a reboot here, and we're going to be back at the main XMB menu. Okay, great. Now, before we can play your game, whatever game that may be, we're going to log into the PSN network. So go ahead, sign in, sign in. I have it as manual, so that way it doesn't accidentally sign myself in, which could be bad because Sony could find your system and flag you down. So signing in, and we know it's a good sign because once you're logged in, um, you, know, you don't get any error messages, and you're good to go. Now what you do is go ahead... Load your game, whatever game that may be. So in this case, it's Ultra Street Fighter 4. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through portions of this to get to the main loading screen of the game and show you that, yes, this does work. And I was able to find someone on the online network and play against. Let's do this. Street Fighter 4. All right, let's do this. We're at the main menu, so let's go to Network Battle. And then there's going to be some more loading screens. This game loves loading screens. But once we're fully loaded, well, I'm going to go to Versus. Let's find a player. And so, yeah, this does work, and I was able to go online, which is awesome. So let's go to, I don't know, Rank Match, sure. Quick Match. Searching, searching, searching. Let's see if there's any gamers online. Hopefully, there might be somebody. Let's see. All 
Also, we can clearly see the game is working fine with online functionality. So that was today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.